Welcome back from spring break. Um, as you all know, College of Central Florida has decided to transfer from face-to-face -to, -face to online for all classes for the remainder of the spring semester. So this slide shows my attempt at providing a brief overview of what you can expect in our class. And I'm going to discuss several things in the slideshow. So please watch the slideshow or review the information on the slideshow to the bitter end. Thank you. Prepare yourself, online students. Independent learning will be needed. Okay, that was my cheesy attempt at making a joke. But seriously, though, I put on makeup and I'm trying to make this transition a little bit more bearable for both of us. I actually like being in the class with you guys. Even though I consider myself an introvert, I really get energy from um, talking and, and being there with you. But we are required to transition online. So Canvas is our learning management system, LMS, that we're going to use. And I strongly encourage you to embrace it, okay? Canvas has tons of great features and they have a 24 hour help desk and this is a great time to get very comfortable with uh, with Canvas. So I'll link some information and um, and and provide you with direction for, you know, those tips and tricks that might make learning online a little bit more pleasant for you. So um, there's four different sections that you really want to make sure you stay on top of in our class. One is the module section. So my class the, when I teach classes online, I usually use the module method. And what this means is in a module, you'll have everything you need for that particular week. And in our case, two weeks, I'm trying to aim for two week uh, increments. So you're going to want to follow, you know, go from our homepage and click on modules and then make sure you work your way through the modules that are, you know, relevant for each week. We only have about six weeks left, which means we have about three modules that you'll need to, to get done, but there are other modules that also have very helpful information, such as the Start Here Essentials and Extras module, which you looked at um, when you, you know, reviewed the syllabus at the beginning of the semester. Okay, so in addition to the modules, you can check your grades pretty frequently from the homepage to see if there's been any updates, but bear with me now that all six of my classes are going to be online. If you thought I was slow at grading before, yes. I will probably get just a little bit slower, but rest assured, I will grade your work and you will get some feedback. Okay, so in addition to modules and grades, you're also going to want to check out the announcements. So I typically try to post one announcement per week, but sometimes I get a little off and will skip a week or two. But because we're, I'm going to be completely online this semester, I'll be aiming for two announcements per week. So please do check the announcements pretty consistently or regularly. Last but not least is the discussion board. I'm going to have lots of information about discussions because in order to earn credit for class participation, you're going to need to be active on the discussion board. This is the equivalent of coming to class. So um, there'll be more to come on that topic. And the third thing that I want to mention on this particular slide is netiquette. Remember, there's someone on the other side of the screen and they are a live human being, the person that would have been sitting next to you in class or in the back of the classroom. So please do not type in all caps. Um, if you need to emphasize a point, feel free to emphasize that point, but be respectful. Remember to be uh, courteous. Now, I'm not saying that you have to dilute everything that you say. I encourage you and embrace the idea of challenging people, but you don't want to, you know, use being online as a way to get out pent up emotions. Okay, so that's it for this particular slide. Hi class, as you know, I'm recording this from home and my daughter's home with me like many of you, we'll be working with our kids while we're getting through the rest of the semester. So, Zuri, what grade are you in? Third. And what school do you go to? A Street Elementary Eagles. And can you tell me a little bit about class participation and why it's important, in your opinion? So, there are two people in my class, and a music class, 
they don't do anything and they don't participate. Participate, and then when it comes time for spring sing, everyone is singing, and then they don't know the words. They don't practice in music class, so then they don't know how to do it, and then they just sit there like. And then our performance isn't good. So what what I hear you saying is that class participation benefits everybody. Mm-hmm. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Okay, folks, on this slide you have two video clips. I do encourage you to listen and watch both of these clips. Together it will take you less than five minutes, and it gives you some of the um, basic things I'm looking for when I grade the discussion post and also how you can get the most bang for your buck you know you are ta you signed up for this class you're paying for it and you want to learn some information that you can use uh, in your everyday life in your professional life you know as well as get a good score so please do watch these two uh, very short videos you matter to me your grade matters to you take responsibility for your learning and your grade so usually people think about, you know, the grade when they're taking a class in general ed. Uh, some people actually do want to learn also. I personally didn't get into teaching so that I could hand out grades. I got into teaching because I'm interested in my subject matter and I want to share what I've learned, what I think is cool, and I want to learn from you. So, you know, I put most of my attention and energy in trying to make the class educational, informative, somewhat fun. Um, and I expect you to keep up with your grades. And the grading policy is fair. And I'm frequently taking input from students, but ultimately um, I really expect you to be responsible for accumulating enough points for whatever grade you're shooting for. Hi class. Okay, so hopefully you've made it through all of the slides. There's lots of good information for you. Um, you can access this slideshow whenever you need it. Um, but again, uh, just to reiterate some main points you want to take away. One, use the questions thread if you have questions that concern everyone in the class. Email me at simsatcf.edu if you have a question that's personal in nature. Um, Expect a 24 to 48 hour delay if you email me. Um, I may be really quick with responding, but it just depends on how many emails I've received that day. When you email me, be sure you include the course number in the subject line. And if you include a subject, that would really help speed up the process. Get, you know, let me know what, what I'm working with. Um, Canvas can be fun. Let's, you know, let's get her done. That's all I have to say. <laughs>